it's like being a detective here with the ice cores and it's only having the detailed ice core records and the climate histories that they provide that provide um, a context for viewing like these two pandemics. And that's where the power comes in linking what's going on in the climate to what was observed in human history. Lonnie Thompson and Ellen Mosley Thompson are distinguished professors at The Ohio State University who have devoted their lives to studying glacial ice. The ice for much of recorded history accumulated annually. The ice traps dust, chemicals, and bacteria that were in the atmosphere as the ice formed, which means the ice also acts as a timeline. It offers a historical record of sorts and can tell scientists things about what was happening around the world at specific points throughout history, including previous pandemics and other times when societies changed in one way or another, major droughts or big shift in agriculture. We could see when the Clean Air Act was passed mm -hmm. and the lead came out of the atmosphere. So the ice records that very uh, definitively. And so I'm sure we will see this a bit uh, in, in some of our ice core records. It's likely, they say, that ice forming now will show changes in Earth's atmosphere brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic. Certainly those records 100 years from now or 200 years from now will definitely be locked into the ice cores. And, but the ice, particularly the ice sheets, will be measuring anything that is in the atmosphere now and over the future will be recorded. Scientists know the pandemic and the societal changes we've made because of the pandemic already are changing Earth's atmosphere in some ways. Right now, we don't even need the ice cores uh, you know, to show us because we've got satellites. And of course, we're going to have satellite observations going forward. But yeah, so for example, uh, so we can see the dustiness with using the satellites. And, but, and we can measure the, the CO2 because we've got, or the methane uh, emissions because we've got uh, observing stations like South Pole takes a South Pole and Barrow, Alaska take air samples every, every day. So that's being tracked. Humans are at their most innovative during times of stress, the researchers said. That gives them hope for the current pandemic. And, and to me, if there's any message that we need to learn is that to solve things like this, we have to work together. The world has to work together. Countries have to work together. We have, uh, we have very bright people in every country in this world, and we need to tap those resources in order to find the solutions that benefit all of us. For Ohio State News, I'm Laura Ehrenshield.